number of enterprises rely on disparate systems to run their business and they desperately need these applications to work together. This is especially key if they want to be able to respond fast to growing demands and stay ahead of the competition. It is thus imperative that data shared between applications occurs in real time, automated, and securely. Oracle Integration Cloud, or OIC, enables businesses to seamlessly connect their applications, be it on-prem or cloud-based, using a zero-code approach. As part of today's session, I'm going to show you how customers can streamline their business processes using OIC. It is common practice to use multiple applications during the employee lifecycle management. This usually starts with a new hire registration. In our case, I'm going to use PeopleSoft to register a new employee. I'm going to follow that up by creating an incident in our service cloud instance so we can coordinate the onboarding process. And finally, I'm going to create an account in our identity and access management application so we can manage a single sign-on for this user. Employee data is generally added manually across systems, which adds lag and is error-prone. Using OIC for employee lifecycle, customers have an efficient and easy solution to propagate and sync data across systems in a real-time and automated approach. Now that I've explained the solution, let's move to a brief demo to illustrate how we can actually propagate data from PeopleSoft to Service Cloud to the third-party identity and access management tool. We're going to first start off in PeopleSoft where we're going to create a new person. And in the interest of time, I've already pre-entered all the fields that we need to save this person. As you can see here, I have a name, I have a date of birth, I have some social security number details. I also have contact information such as address, phone, and email. And these are kind of the minimum fields I need in order to save a person. And now I can just save. Okay, that's it. We've saved a person in PeopleSoft. Now that we've created a person in PeopleSoft, let's go over to Oracle Service Cloud to see if the data actually came in. We're going to be looking at two things. The first thing is we're going to look for a contact which was created for the equivalent person in PeopleSoft. And second, we're going to look at an incident for this contact so we can kind of coordinate the onboarding process as well. This is our Service Cloud dashboard. I'll go into contacts first. So we created a person called Lisa Gates earlier in PeopleSoft. I can see that person here. I can see the address matches as in PeopleSoft, the email ID, the phone number. I can also see there's one open service request for this person. So that's probably the incident we're looking for. So here we can see there's an incident created for this person with a title employee onboarding for Lisa Gates. And this has the name of the person and the employee ID coming in from PeopleSoft. So here we can verify that we have an a contact and an incident for this new employee. Now that we've verified a new contact and incidents were created in Service Cloud, finally we're going to be moving over to Okta so we can also validate that there's a new account created for the same person. This is the Okta dashboard. Again, what we're looking for is a new user with a name Lisa Gates. I can see Lisa Gates here. I can just verify the profile and get the details. I can see again the email ID, the name, the phone number, and the address, similar to the one coming in from PeopleSoft, including the PeopleSoft employee ID. So here we've kind of chained them all together. We've shown you how we can create a person in PeopleSoft, how that data is propagated automatically to Oracle Service Cloud, where we create a contact and an incident. And finally, going to Okta, where we can see that there was an actual account created for this user. To understand how the applications are actually connected, let's now move over to our integration platform. I'll show you a feature called Tracker. That's where the messages are actually coming in. In our case, it's going to be PeopleSoft message of a new person that's picked up by integration, so that is propagated to Service Cloud and Okta. So we're looking for a message that came in for integration from PeopleSoft. And this is the one we're looking for. I can see the employee ID is equivalent to the one that came from PeopleSoft. So let's open this right now. This will show us kind of an integration and how the data flows between all components. We can see that everything is green. That means everything went fine. Uh, what we see here is the components work together to kind of propagate data from PeopleSoft to Service Cloud to Okta. Here we see the message coming in. This is called a trigger, where PeopleSoft is actually sending new person data to integration. We have some checks here so we can validate that the person is valid or not. 
in our case it is. And finally, we're going to check if there's an equivalent contact in Service Cloud. If it is one, then we do nothing because we want to be able to have this only for new contacts. Since there is no existing contact, we're creating one, then we're creating an incident for this contact, and then finally, creating a new Okta user for this person. Let's do a recap. We just showed how easy it is to improve business processes using Oracle Integration Cloud. It's web-based development environment and intuitive UI enable customers to create simplified integrations, connecting their applications in the cloud, on-prem, hybrid, without writing any code. Are you ready for Oracle to transform your business?